Hey everyone, this is Darren Kidd. Wanted to start off today's video by asking you a quick question. Have you ever thought about why there's more information available than ever before, easier to access on the internet? We can type something in Google and have unlimited information right in front of us, but yet there are more people struggling with all the areas of their life, whether it's finances or you know, health, wealth, relationships. Why is that? Well, I had that question and, uh, and, and approached uh, the late billionaire Paul Meyer about that years ago. Ken Blanchard, I was fortunate to be at a retreat where Paul Meyer had invited Ken Blanchard in, best-selling author who sold millions of books, and he had that same question, why do people continue to buy my books, but yet they continue to struggle with the information that's in the books? And so Paul Meyer and Ken Blanchard wrote a book based on what Paul Meyer shared uh, with Ken Blanchard called No Can Do. Okay, K-N-O-W, No Can Do. And it talks about, in this book, why we have such a hard time. Number one, uh, there's three different reasons. Number one is we have information overload. There's so much information out there that we tend to constantly put new things into our mind, reading, listening, attending seminars, that we start to have uh, paralysis by analysis. We start uh, analysis. We start to analyze until we're paralyzed. And our mind is always doing one of two things. It's either learning something new or it's forgetting something. So when we tend to continue to read new things and not do anything about it, we're actually teaching ourselves the wrong thing to do. Uh, so we're either forgetting something or we can focus on something and have spaced repetition and really internalize it and put it into action that will make a big difference. So you have information overload. Number two, you have negative filters that we were conditioned as we grow up. Um, you know, we have society, parents, school, jobs that condition us and put these negative filters that start to limit what we do as well. Uh, an example is an elephant. If you look at a baby elephant at a circus, it's got a massive chain around its leg. Every time it tries to get away, it jerks it back. But yet you look at a grown elephant at the circus and it's got a little small rope around its leg that it can snap in a heartbeat. But it doesn't because it's been so conditioned, it stopped trying a long time ago. And we have those negative filters in our mind that are just like the rope with the elephant or the chain with the elephant. And number three is a lack of follow-up, uh, you know, with the information that we learn. You know, so many of us, we learn the information, but we don't go out and do anything about it. But really the key is to, you know, the tell, show, try, do. Tell us what to do. Show us what to do. Let us try it, even if we, we fail. Okay, we have some challenges, but then if we tell, show, try, and do, and then we can start plan, doing, and reviewing. So, hey, maybe I'll plan it. Let me go out here and do it again, and maybe I shouldn't have done this. I should have done that, and we review it, and it's like the rocket that's off track over 90% of the time on the way to the moon. It's only on track about 3 to 7% of the time, but yet it still gets to the moon because it plan that, that constantly readjusts. So, as you think about that magic ingredient, that spaced repetition. Paul Meyer taught over 50% of what we retain is after the fifth time that we hear it, see it, or read it. So he told me, he's like, I would rather see you read one book every single month for the next four to six months. That same book, four to six times. He actually had books that he had read over 200 times. He said, instead of you reading four to six new books over the next four to six months, you will get a whole lot more out of it if you continue to have that space repetition, and you'll probably agree, if we read a book more than once or listen to a CD more than once, it's like they added new chapters in the book. It's like they went and re-recorded the CD. So that spaced repetition over time. And if you go talk to somebody that's in martial arts or you talk to maybe somebody that's a fighter, that's a great, great way to uh, compare it. You can ask them, hey, show me how to defend myself if somebody tries to punch me or tries to attack me, and they spend an hour, two hours, and show you some basic things to help defend yourself. Then you walk out to your car, somebody jumps out from behind the car, they scream, and they run at you, and maybe you throw your hand straight up in the air, do the opposite of what they just taught you. Why is that? Because even though you learn the technique, you still have to rep that hundreds of times to get that muscle memory to where, just as a reflex, it automatically happens. So with space repetition, we have to rep our mind like we rep our muscles if we want to get the, the uh, results that we want to get. 
So I'd encourage you to go out and get the book, No Can Do, by Ken Blanchard and Paul J. Meyer. And uh, you can read that, and I encourage you to read it multiple times. Uh, that's space repetition. And then uh, if you like the video and you like what I'm sharing with you, hey, I'd love for you to comment uh, below. And I also would love for you to share it with your friends uh, so that they also can see the video as well. So thank you and look forward to talking to you on the next video.